Let's make cured salmon on toast. Today I'm going to show you guys how to cure your own salmon at home. For those of you who are not familiar with the word curing, it's actually a traditional method of preserving meat. They will load the meat up with a lot of salt, that way the salt will extract all the moisture from the meat so that the microorganisms cannot grow and hence your meat will be preserved for weeks, sometimes even months. These days, people just love it because they love the taste of cured meat. First of all, what we need is salt. I'm using about half a cup of salt. Now this really depends on the size of your meat. If you're curing, let's say, a whole filet of salmon, yeah, you're definitely going to need more than a half a cup of salt. And you will need equal parts of sugar. Half a cup. There we go. So now we've got our equal parts salt and sugar inside the bowl. We're going to add in some aromatics. So I'm zesting one lemon into the salt mixture. Once we're done zesting the lemon, now I'm going to add in some dill. Yeah, dill and the lemon zest, they're both going to sort of perfume our salmon while it cures. So now that we've got our lemon zest and the dill in, we're just going to mix everything up together. As we're mixing everything together, the salt and sugar are going to bruise the dill that will release its flavor into the salt. All right, so once our salt mixture is all mixed up, here, I have a nice fillet cut salmon. Yeah, skin still on, basically without bones. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pack the salmon with the salt. Press down, basically you want the salt to encase the salmon. All right, so once we've encased the salmon, don't worry about it being overly salted because later on, we're actually going to wash all this salt away. Now, this goes into the fridge. All right, so this has been in the fridge for about two hours curing away, right? Now we're going to remove the salt from the fish. The salt, you find that it's damp. That's all the moisture that's been extracted from the fish. There we go. So once you've removed the salt from the fish, you'll notice a couple of things. First is the texture of the fish on the surface. It's almost like crust-like and that's completely fine, okay? And the second thing is you notice the colour. The colour of the fish has deepened. And the third thing, the flavour of the fish. Yeah, because we've extracted all that moisture, the flavour will also be more intense. So now, we're going to rinse this piece of fish. Alright, so now once you have uh, rinsed off your fish, it is important to pat dry. Okay, nice. Now here's a cured salmon that's ready to be served. You can serve this in a salad, you can do nice eggs benedicts with it, yeah, and, or just toast. Alright, so now that we've done our fish, we're going to start building our toast. Yeah, I'm going to be putting some avocado. There we go. Alright, slice your avocado all the way around. Okay, we need, just need half. You can either scoop it out with a spoon or use a knife to peel the avocado so that way you do not damage the surface. So now that you've peeled out half the avocado, yeah, using a sharp knife, we're just going to slice it into thin slices so we can fan it up. Just slant it down. It's got this nice beautiful fan of avocado. Okay, we can set the avocado aside. Now, the avocado will oxidize if you leave it out in the open, okay? So, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice yeah, on top over the avocado to prevent it from oxidizing. Now, for our bread, yeah, we've got this really nice sourdough bread from the baker's downstairs, freshly made. Oh, look at that, nice. Okay, so now you can make this um, on a sourdough. You can use uh, grain bread, any type of bread, baguette, ciabatta, really anything you like, okay? So I'm making a full meal size, so I'm gonna use something that's quite sizable. We're gonna toast it with some olive oil. Bread goes in. Oh, nice. So we wanna get it a little bit crustier. Nice, crisp. Once the bread is done, avocado sits nicely on the top. Now, I'm also going to crack a little bit of salt over the avocado. So the avocado itself has some flavor. 
Yeah, not forgetting we've squeezed a little bit of lemon juice on the top so that it will give the entire toast also a nice acidic bite to it. Okay, so now our salmon time. So I'm removing the crusts on the sides because that can be extremely salty to expose the inner flesh and that's what we want. And just sliced up. It is already cured. I won't be serving such thick slices of the salmon because it can get a bit salty. Just run your knife very gently down. Yeah, we do not want to serve the skin. So once you reach to the bottom, slice it up. I'm going to start placing it on top of the avocado. All right, so our salmon toast is almost done, but not before I add a little bit more condiments to it, okay? I'm gonna add in just red onions, peel, yeah, because I wanna have that crunch and also that little bit of spiciness that the red onion gives. Now, this part is completely up to you. If you wanna, if you don't like red onions, you wanna garnish it with other stuff like coriander, you can do it, basically anything that you'd like to have on your toast. Loosen it up, thinly sliced red onions. Now we've got some capers. There we go, nice. Now, I'm also going to be adding in some caviar simply because I had some in the fridge, okay? This is lump fish caviar. If you do have, uh, you can put some. If you do not, this is entirely optional, okay? Uh, but if you do have, then you're just going to raise the umami flavor in this dish. So good. Garnish with some beautiful crests. Basically, just let's try to make it look as pretty as possible. A little bit of flowers definitely doesn't hurt. I'm like in toast heaven right now. Damn, son. This is good. It's really so well balanced. You've got the crunchiness of the toast at the bottom. You've got that creamy, delicious, luxurious avocado at the bottom that delivers that richness. And then you've, you've got your cured salmon yeah, that delivers the saltiness, the umami of the fish. And you top it up with that caviar that just marries together so well with the salmon. And my favorite part is those little bursts of sliced onion, spiciness, juiciness, sweetness from the onion and your capers that sort of gives you that burst of acid. Now, if you've enjoyed this content, do click the like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and the different ways you think you might change this to be. Okay, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Love y'all. So good.